the IO expander, the distributed sensor controller. No sensor drivers to write, no sensor timing issues, save your IO pins, save your code space, solves cable length limits, easy to wire phone cable. The IO expander can connect to any computer or MCU and only requires a single serial connection to control all the sensors. Use the included color cable with the IR expander. Connect the single header wires to the USB cable first, the black ground wire, the yellow receive wire, the blue transmit wire, and finally the red 5 volt wire. Connect the other end of the wire with the 4-pin header to the IR expander with the black wire closest to the edge of the board. Connect using a terminal application on your computer and you should see the IO expander boot message and the command prompt. If you don't have a USB RS-232 TTL cable, you can also use an Adreno board as one. Connect the single header wires to the Adreno first. The yellow wire to the Adreno TX pin. Blue wire to the Adreno RX pin. And the black wire to the Adreno ground pin. And finally the red wire to the Adreno 5 volt pin. To disable the Adreno from booting, use a jumper between RST pin and ground. Connect the other end of the wire with a 4-pin header to the IO expander with the black wire closest to the edge of the board. Connect using a terminal application on your computer and you should see the IO expander boot message and the command prompt. The IO expander uses a very simple single letter command and subcommand structure. A list of available commands can be displayed by using the question mark command. Multiple commands can be issued on a single line by separating them with the semicolon character. Every command will always have its own response. The IO expander is extremely simple to use. Let's connect a DHT22 temperature humidity sensor to an RJ11 screw terminal keystone jack. Using a straight through phone cable, connect the DH22 sensor to pin 6 on the IO expander. Use the command sensor on pin 6 type 5 sensor read will return the selected sensor type, temperature and humidity. That was easy. Let's connect a one-wire DS18B20 temperature sensor to a one-wire junction. Connect the DS18B20 black wire to ground, yellow wire to D1, and finally the red wire to 5 volts. Using a straight through phone cable, connect the one wire junction to pin 4 on the IO expander. If you do not know the address of the DS18B20, use the command temperature on pin 4 find to return the ROM ID of the DS18B20. Use the commands temperature select 9C, temperature measurement, temperature read will return the selected sensor and temperature reading. The IR expander will support one, two, or four relays directly, or use the relay expander to control 256 relays on each IR expander. Connect multiple IR expanders together to support up to 65,280 relays. That's a lot of relays.
Use the one time setup command expander boards one to let the IO expander know how many relay expands connected. To control individual relays, use the command expander one on to turn on relay one and expander one off to turn off relay one. It's that simple. You can connect many different I squared C sensors to the IO expander using the one wired I squared C adapter. Let's connect an I squared C SHG31 temperature humidity sensor. Use the included color cable with a one wired I squared C adapter. Connect the single header wires to the I squared C sensor first. The red 3 volt 3 to VN, black wire to ground, yellow wire to SCL, and finally the blue wire to SDA. Connect the other end of the wire with the 4 pin header to the one wire to I squared C adapter. Using a straight through phone cable, connect the one wire to I2C adapter to pin 4 on the IO expander. If you do not know the address of the one wire I2C adapter, use the command I2C on pin 4 find, which will return the ROM ID. Use the commands I2C select 4A sensor type 3 sensor read will return the selected one wire I2C adapter sensor type I2C address temperature and humidity. The IO expander can also control I2C OLED screens so you can display sensor information at the sensor location. Use the included color cable with the one wired I2C adapter. Connect the single, single header wires to the I2C OLED screen first. The black wire to ground. The red wire to VCC. Yellow wire to SCL. And finally the blue wire to SDA. Connect the other end of the wire with the four pin header to the one wired I2C adapter. Using a straight through phone cable, connect the one wire to I2C adapter to pin 4 on the IO expander. If you do not know the address of the one wire to I2C adapter, use the command I2C on pin 4 find, which will return the ROM ID. Use the command I2C select 4A sensor type 13, sensor initialize, sensor clear, sensor display, a 00, zero string hello. Sensor display will return the selected one wired I2C adapter, sensor type, the I2C address, the initialized screen resolution of 128 by 64, OK to update the OLED display. The I2 1.3 inch OLED screen displaying hello. The fonts that draw the text are all generated by the IO expander. Connect a plethora of sensors to your IO expander. Get yours today and make your project development easier.